Well, today's the day. I've done enough talking and planning. It's time to put my money where my mouth is. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back. Before I get to the chain link, let's look at the rose bushes. Nice. Kind of windy out here too. I'm going to have to replace this grill cover. But it comes down. All the way down. All of this. I got to get rid of it. It's time. It's time to move forward, move on from this. Look at my white plants. Nice. Yeah, this has to go. It's just horrible. It's just time for something new. We could do better than this. Let's do it. You know, I have 10 snips, but these are straight cut. Got them from Menards. I saw them in one of those big bins in the middle of the aisle before you make it to the cash register. I'm sure they'll come in handy. You see how the metal ties or the metal string keeps the chain and the pole together. So I'm just going to cut them and separate them. Make it easy, right? Several more I have to do. But these snips really came in handy. So I'm almost finished with this. The bottom is giving me a hard time. Otherwise, this would be done. Looks like I have to bring in the big dog. Do yourself a favor. Before you use any type of machinery, tools, get some eyewear. Okay, I'm sure the Sawzall can take it from here. Very confident that this will work. For obvious reasons, I couldn't record and use the Sawzall, but it gets a Whitley thumbs up. It's great. If you don't have one and you need it, go out and get it. Done. Just like that. Chain link is gone. A neighbor took it away. Appreciate that. Just have the poles left. That thing is amazing. Ryobi, you guys really know what you're doing. Nothing's easy. As I started to remove the pole, water starts shooting out the bottom of it. I don't want to damage this tool, so I'm going to have to find another way to do this. I'm sure there's water in all of them. I've done a lot of digging around the concrete post. Might use the sledgehammer to break it up. We'll see. Unfortunately, I lost a shovel. And the sledgehammer isn't really great for something like this. I'll figure it out, though. Finally, I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Show the muscles. Go ahead. Flex. You deserve it. Unbelievable. This was built to last. I don't know what was going on back in the day. Maybe they had a bunch of chain link fence bandits. And they had to put these poles so deep into the ground to keep people from stealing them. Whatever the case, I'm telling you, this was hard work. Now, some people will get a jack and jack the post out of the ground. I didn't want to do all that. I thought I could do it without having to bust a sweat. I was wrong, completely wrong. Now I know what I'm dealing with and it'll be a lot easier moving forward. I'll get it done. Now you can understand by looking at this angle what I was dealing with. There's still about two feet worth of pole in that hole. You live and you learn, I guess. I'm getting it done. This is the last one. I'll have to cut this gate here. Make it work. I'll figure it out. Keep that. This has to go. Oh, yeah. Got to figure out a way to remove it from the wall. Ryobi to the rescue. It cut through this like a knife cutting through butter. No problem whatsoever. I love it. You got to get one. You might need it one day. I don't want to cut too much of this. That'll work. Let's figure out a way to remove this wood. Get rid of this. Oh, yeah. I'm not an expert, but if somehow you manage to put nails through wood that went through brick, 
you shouldn't have too much trouble removing the wood. So you just take a shovel, use it like a crowbar, and it'll do the job for you. Who had this bright idea? If someone asks me what's harder, removing a chain link fence or putting up a wood fence, my money would be on removing a chain link fence. Finally, it's done. The last one out of the ground. I hope I never, ever have to do anything like this again. This is probably like a day's worth of work already. Next, I plan on using stakes and string in order to line up the post correctly. I'll be using the 345 method. I learned it online. Thought it was good. I'll put a post here and I want them to be leveled and in line with each other. And this is one way that you do it. Just do it the right way. Success. Finally got it. I messed up a few times, but that's to be expected. Okay, five feet. I'm going to put the first post here. It'll work well right there. And then they should all be lined up. I'll use these at the end. Oh, yeah. Well, I know there's something we all can agree on. There's absolutely no turning back now. I'm in too deep. Guess it's just a matter of figuring out where the post will be. I know they'll be eight feet apart. That's the goal. That could change. A lot of holes, a lot of dirt, losing sunlight. Solar lights are coming on now. It's getting late. It's going to turn out good, guys. Don't worry about it. Trust me. I won't give up. I'll keep going, keep pushing, and live with the results. Phase one complete. On to phase two. You know what that means. I had to bring out the post hole digger. It's going to come in handy. You know, it was left by upper management within the last year or so. It's just been here in the garage. Okay, what's next? I got my string. I marked where the post should go. Looks good. You know what I thought about doing? I was going to level the post according to the walkway here. Problem is, it narrows at a certain spot and widens at a certain spot. So that means my post and the fence, if it gets done, would have just looked sloppy. It would have been narrow in certain spots, wide in other spots can't have that so always trust the string and trust the math behind it and again just to clarify go by the string if you do the three four five method it's no good measuring from the sidewalk to the house and then coming up with some type of point to start the holes because again your walkway might not be exactly leveled it might narrow toward the end or widen toward the beginning when you compare it to one side or the other. So the string, the three, four, five string method is the best way. Enough talking, right? Okay, let's get to work. Time to dig some holes. For future reference, it'll help if you wet the ground the day before you start the project. Make things a lot easier for you. So I took a piece of flooring and stuck it in the middle of the hole. It's going to act as a temporary post. Then I took a tape measure and measured eight feet. As you can see, the next post should be there. This is what you gotta do when you're doing it yourself. So there's nothing wrong with crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Well, considering this is my first time, you guys gotta give me a little slack on this one, okay? Anyway, I discovered a problem. I have to make this hole bigger. If I put a post in that hole, I won't be able to surround it with concrete. And it might not stay in the ground like it should. So, of course, I have to figure where the actual string meets. And then that's where I'll start. 
the three, four, five method, because once you move it, you have to do the process all over again. And this hole might not be big enough, so I might have to dig a little more to make this work, but I'll get it done. Don't get me wrong, the hole is big enough, but I have to make sure that concrete can surround the post. That hole will be fine. Don't focus on that other hole. This hole should be fine. I don't know how much concrete I'm going to need because I made them too big, but again, I need the post centered so I can surround it with concrete and enough concrete. They're deep. That's the old hole. Let's see what's going on here. A couple more holes. I'll stop here. That should work. This is looking good. Might have to make a minor adjustment here. And you see what I've been using is coming in handy. I'm doing it, guys. Considering I bought four by four by eight posts, okay? Two feet go on the ground, six feet of that post will be above ground. Are you following me? So why not take an angle square and measure two feet? If you guys don't have one of these, you need to go out and get one. Trust me. Anyway, I measured two feet, made a mark with the Sharpie, then used the angle square to make a straight line on all four sides of the post. This is really going to help me out down the stretch. So if you don't do what I just did, you might be too far up or too far down in the ground. So now you know I got a little ways to go. I know a lot of you don't really need to do all this. I do, and some of the folks who are watching, this might come in handy, so be patient. But as you can see, what I was saying made a lot of sense. So now I know the 4x4 is in the ground deep enough, as you can see. So it all makes sense. It was all for a purpose. It's shaping up. How many of us have bought these and didn't really need them? You just saw them, they were cheap, and you thought, well, maybe one day I could use it for something. Well, today's the day. It's flatter. Should work better for me. Again, I'm just going to ensure that the posts are in the ground two feet. Might have to dig a little more. I might have to add dirt, but at least I know There'll be two feet in the ground and six feet above ground. What do we have here? A post in the ground. No concrete, though. But it's being held up by two two by fours, leveled by this tool. If you plan on doing this project, you will need that. Trust me. It's looking good. This is what you want to see. You know what? I might pull this thing off. And it's at the line, centered. Oh, yeah, I'm still going. Got the post in the ground. They're being held up by two by fours. Those are two by four by twos. I should have got some two by four by fours because I'm having trouble keeping them up. But that's OK. Got about three more holes to go. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm making progress. Three more holes. Like I said, I'm going to pull this off. Oh, yeah. Okay, got that one in. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Got them in, two by fours, holding them up. Got one that is kind of leaning. Yep. I got to do something about it. I don't really have the two by fours secured. I got to hurry up. It's getting late. Okay, got the fast setting quick crete from Home Depot. 50 pound bag. It better work. This is like six bucks a bag after taxes. Oh, yeah. Should be the best. Okay, so look. Like any person would do, when you're doing a project like this, you start getting your material, tools, equipment, stuff like that. Makes sense, right? And that's what I did. I thought I had enough bags. These holes are big. The bags are small. 50 pound bags for the size of these holes just won't work. Not a big deal. I realize I'll need more bags. So I go to the store, 
all of the quickcrete fast setting concrete is gone. So luckily I have a couple more bags of my own. So I had to pick something else up. I'm hoping it works. That looks okay. So I have three different bags that I had to buy. If I have to be out here this late, I need light. Those are the remaining bags. Let's look over here. Got some concrete in the hole. Have them all filled just about. Over here. Let's get to it. Got my bags. Leveler or level. However you want to say it. Let's do it. Word of the day. Patience. Patience with a capital P. You need lots of it for something like this. Okay, I'll put some concrete down the holes. I don't know how I'm going to attach this chain link. I'm not even worried about it right now. Let's just keep going and we'll figure that out later. No more fast setting. This was it. As far as what I needed. There was nothing else. So I really had no choice. I hope it works. We'll see. Once again and again and again and again and one more time. You do not do this job without something like this. This level is great. Spend the money. It's only a few dollars. Okay, folks. Looks like I got posts in the ground. And we're just waiting on the water, right? This hole looks good. It's not as big. The other one's horrible. As far as width. But again, I think it'll make a strong foundation because that concrete ain't going nowhere. So far, the hardest part of the project was working in this area. The posts are a lot closer together and the neighbor's chain link fence was in the way. At least the part I couldn't cut down. So I had to work around all of this. See the string? See how it's touching the post? At least you know everything's leveled and going according to plan. I hope this works out. I'm still going. I thought it'd be best for me to pour the bag of concrete in the hole first, then add water. I know some of you probably would have opted to get a wheelbarrow. I have one, by the way. You guys know that. You would have gotten your wheelbarrow, tore open the bag, Added water, then mixed it in a wheelbarrow. Not me. Why'd you get one? Just in case. I'm at Home Depot. It's the morning. I need more concrete. Let's go inside. Would you look at this? Look at this. Would somebody look at this? Look at this. I can't believe it. All these bags. All here. None of this was here last night. None of it. None of this. Well, that was. None of the fast setting, though. None of the fast setting. I literally had to make another trip and I didn't have to. They just would have had what I needed. It's like a waste of time almost. It just pushes things back. I'm glad that they have what they have now, but I really needed this last night. Just to add water though. That's probably the only part I don't like. The loading, the unloading, the bags are heavy. I don't know about you, but my back isn't what it used to be. So I feel the effects greatly, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. Let's take a look at the holes. Okay, and guys, don't turn your nose up at my holes, okay? Like I said, you got to give me some slack. It's the first time for me. So I'm learning. Next time, this will be better. I hope. I think so I have to add more here I'm not going back to that store forget about it I refuse I refuse I do I do luckily I have this little cart okay let's take a look here we go that hole looks good like that over here needs a little help no problem 
That looks good. I like that. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Man, it's not even moving. Nothing. I think I did a good job, folks. Wow, amazing. You know I have a long way to go, but I'm getting there. At this point, I'll do whatever it takes to preserve my back. So I'll cut the bag open a little bit, pour some of the concrete in the hole, just like this. You know what, guys? A part of me is thinking, if the holes weren't so big, I'd be done with this by now. What do you think? Leave a comment. Anyway, I'm getting there. Poster in the ground. Well, the best part, adding water. Why is it the best? It's soothing and it's the easiest. You know what, guys? Can't quite put my finger on it. But if I had to bet, and I'm not a bet man, but if I were, I bet it would be best to tear the bag open, pour it in a bucket or wheelbarrow, then add water, then take a shovel, and then mix it together. I'm just guessing here. Okay. Anyway, we got the post in the ground. We did it. And these posts aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I guarantee you that. It's going to take a real construction company. I mean a real one. To get these posts out of the ground. Got my brackets. Steer screws. There's plenty of sunshine out here. Let's put them down. Okay. So. I went ahead and figured out. Where the brackets need to be. There's a line right there. Oh yeah. We're going to get this done. We're going to do this. Trust me. It's going to be great. Got plenty of brackets, don't I? You know I wouldn't be caught dead out here without my Stanley level. Without the rigid. You have to wear gloves too. Don't forget. You don't want any splinters getting into your hand. Man, it's going to be a great day. Trust me. So the first bracket here will be about 11 plus inches from the ground. Oh, yeah. Notice I filled the holes. Wasn't a big deal. Middle bracket is about 36 inches and some change from the ground. What's this? I got a bad one here. Maybe too much water on it. I don't know. The top bracket, about 63 inches from the ground. All right, so what am I doing? This is how I'm figuring out my lines. I'm using a two by four. So I already established the first three brackets. So now I use two by fours and a level the rest of the way to figure out where each one goes. I know it's a lot of work, but the brackets help you in the long run. Think about it. If you make the cut too short, you have to use a shim. And you don't want to do that. Now, if it's too long, well, you can still work around that. The bracket helps either way. You don't have to force the wood in between the post. It's not going to look good. And for the moment we've all been waiting for, the Cobalt. Got it from Lowe's. Yeah, I'm showing it off. I feel like a proud dad. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see if it's worth the money. It went through that two by four like a knife going through butter. Oh, yeah, it's worth the money. I'm in love already. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, all the brackets have been added to the post. This will make my life and job a lot easier. OK, let's look at the other end. OK, guys, I'm going to cheat on this end. I'll add brackets, but there won't be a post here. It'll be OK. It'll work. I didn't think the space was wide enough for two posts. I thought it'd be a waste of time. That's why. Anyway, let's keep going. After so much cutting and trimming and all that, man, I'm getting it done. This looks nice. Why don't I just act like I'm on a farm and leave it as is? What do you think? So yeah, it happened. And it happened according to plan. It wasn't easy, but I got it up. 
I like the results. Well, so far, so good. We still got a little ways to go. But I like what I see. I couldn't have asked for more. So now it's time to add the screws to the brackets. How about from a different angle? You know why this worked? Because I used the two by fours and a level to ensure that the brackets were in line. Okay? So that's why I got the results that I did. Looks nice. Now I'm just adding the screws to the brackets. Since I'm over there, I might as well get it done. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Now the brackets are officially and properly secured to the post. And the 2x4s are secured to the brackets. We're doing a great job. Let's keep going. Last but not least, the part that gives you the privacy that you're looking for. The dog ears or fence pickets, whatever you want to call them. I'll measure each one. We've done a lot so far. This is what you want to see. Got a long way to go, but I'm going to reach the goal. So I plan on using this roller string and two screws to level the fence pickets. I didn't have to do it here, but I will do it on the other side of the two by fours from there all the way down. I want them nice and leveled. I don't want the work to look sloppy. So I'm going to put my best foot forward, right? And empire for the win. Might as well use a string level. Makes sense, right? We'll try it out. Look at the rose bushes. Can't get enough of them. They're starting to bloom. Great sign. All right, let's get back to the main attraction. The fence. Let's do it. Okay, I'll start the line here. There's my equipment. And I'm trying to keep the remaining pickets consistent with the pickets already screwed in. So here's my screw or here, whatever, whatever works. I'll just run the line all the way down and I'll use the line level. Oh yeah. Scratch that idea. Don't like it at all. Little too tedious. I'd rather use the 48 inch master force level from Menards. Oh yeah. Now this works. Ran into a problem. The pickets are starting to slant, so I have to unscrew them. What I'll do is level each one. You know, I was putting them close together so you wouldn't see a gap, but I have to level each one. Wow, amazing. This is what I wanted to see. Almost perfect. You know, if you didn't know any better, you would have thought I bought the whole panel from the store. Man, I can't believe I did this. This is exactly how I wanted it. Exactly. Okay, I lost daylight, but it'll all be worth it in the end. All the hard work, everything. Everything I did. The store runs, the concrete, everything. It'll all be worth it. Man, I'm really pleased and anxious to see how this will turn out. Could I finish yesterday? Maybe. But again, I'm measuring each picket because the ground isn't leveled. So it's going to take longer than expected. But again, guys, I'm doing it by myself. I'm sure there are some who would say, why don't you just put up three, then check for leveling? For me, I think one at a time is best. And here's where I'm at. It's winding down. Looks great. It almost looks like a professional did this job. Then again, you might see some fence installs that might not look this good. Man, nice. It looks nice. One looks a little higher than the other, but that's okay. I can fix that. No problem. Two more pickets to go, you think? Two? And I'm done? Maybe? I hope? Let's check. Mmm, might have a little issue there. Looks nice all the way down. Wow, and you know what? This will certainly add value to the home. Trust me, let's wrap it up. So I used the Ryobi reciprocating saw to cut down a couple of the posts. Just want them even. 
Even the hand saw at one point. Okay, got him down. No problem. Let me ask you guys a question and leave your answers in the comments. How much do you think it's worth? What would you pay for someone to come out and do this? All right. Anyway, moving forward, I had an issue over here. So I went all the way down, but I had to come back. I had to take these pickets off and start here because I couldn't make a piece right there. So I had to pretty much double back. But again, it worked out well. Just in case you were wondering why I was trying to level those posts. Now, you know, I had to add the finishing touches. Solar lights. Oh, yeah. Got them from Amazon. Look nice. Great addition. Looks like a whole different world over here now. Oh, yeah. They're warm, by the way. Not LED. Something I forgot to share with you. You see the second post and this post. It's not exactly eight feet of distance between the two. I had to compensate for the neighbor's chain link. I had to meet up with it. So they're like 10 feet apart from each other. But that's okay. You wouldn't even notice anyway. But I'm being honest. And honestly, I'm amazed. Can't believe I did it. And it means a whole lot more because I did it with my bare hands. You know the motto. Take care of your families. Take care of your bodies. Take care of your lawns too. Bye.